the bench seat in our van. We did say in a previous video that we're going to alter it, mainly because of a night time it needs to be a bit more comfortable and cosy. I'll show you what I mean. The bench seat as it was, was just the cushion there, the cushion back, you sat on it, that was it, done. Now, of a night time, you want to kind of get snug, cuddled up and stuff. So, the idea is to make this part of the bench seat pull forwards to round about, to round about there. So, that will give us enough room to sit down, put our legs out, watch television, get comfy, stuff like that. It's all up here, just got to get it to there. So first of all, we need to get the whole thing out and just leave the boiler in and remove all the front, all the back, all the sides. 17 hours later, we have managed to take the front panel off and the side panel off and now the actual frame we can take it out and we can reduce the height after we've done our measurements by that much how much that much 10 inches you now told that's... me that's 10 inches <laughs> to me Right, got the bench seat out, we've marked three inches up, or as Emma says, ten inches. And we're gonna chop them down by three inches on every single leg and then put it back in. Then we can put the frame on top and do it that way. This is the only way we know what we're doing, and we don't actually know what we're doing, we're just making it look like we know what we're doing, so you can carry along. But we're not professional. No. No. Now we've cut them all down to size. What we've got to do is, we've got to put back in the pocket holes that we've basically chopped off. Pocket holes done, fit it back to the frame. Emma's made teas and brought donuts. Right, cut the legs down, fasten the legs back on, done all that. Now to bring it in. I hope it fits over the uh, boiler. <laughs> Forgot to measure that. Might have been the downfall. We'll be all right. <laughs> so. Frames back in, perfect. Being lowered that much, two and a half inches. <sighs> Fun and games, isn't it? You alright, babe? Yeah. You made a bit of a mess. We need to build a frame on top of the bench seat so it can lift up and down. We're going to make it out of some thin 2B1. See, we were going to use this, but we just think it's going to be too thick and it doesn't need to be that thick because once we get the ply on top, it's all going to be fine. So we're going to make the frame out of this stuff, which will be strong enough because like I said, once you get the ply on top, it's all going to be fine. <laughs> Next thing we need is some ply. Anyway. full sheet we can buy a half sheet now what we need is a thin piece of like sheet metal to go in between the slats to stop them dropping in and bending right we've got it we think this is gonna do now it's time to pay where to now 
food, snack. Hi. What are you munching on? Southern fried chicken strip. Right, now we've got the frame in, we need to make another frame to go on top of the frame. The reason we're putting another frame on top is so when we fix the bed and we have the slats going in and out, it will be enable us to lift the frame up rather than just screwing it down to this. We need to be able to lift it up so it can get access to them cupboards and the boiler. Right, one frame. Granted, it's not the most sturdiest of frames because it's only got one screw in each, but there's going to be ply on here, screws to both sides. So, the only thing the frame is doing is enabling us to hinge it like this so we can get in to the underneath. Right, so we're going to put... Oh, right so, that's all we ever say is right so. <laughs> anyway, apparently... Right, so we're going to put... <laughs> The piano hinge is going on the back of here and then it's going to go on the back of the seat which will enable us to actually tilt the whole thing up and down. We have some progress. We've got the top on. It's not cut yet. Not mounted, but it's on. We've got the front on. Not cut yet. It's not mounted, but it's on. Now, the reason we've got the front on is because in this one we have sockets there air vent there blah 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 so what we're going to do is going to put this up against the one that's on mark where the sockets are and then we're going to attach the sockets and the air duct to this one make the holes on them just a little bit bigger make the holes on them just a little bit bigger and then we're going to edge trim the circle and edge trim where the sockets go so you can still get to the sockets from there won't be a problem, won't be an issue, it'll look neat and it'll look tidy. It'll have the same edge and trim on as we've got on there. You like? Yes! What are we going to do next? Ziggy zags. Right, next thing is we need to do some ziggy zags in the wood to, sep to basically make the one piece of wood two pieces. But it will slide in and out like that. Reminds Not like that, that. Reminds me of that game, Joe you know, and you, and your kids. That. Yeah, that one. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that madness. Um, so yeah, so we've got to work out where these, the slats need to be. Yeah, where because it needs to pull out, and then we can attach the front of it to the top with another piano hinge. So I said, when it goes up, the front piece will fold in. It'll all not seeing confusing now but will make sense later it's confusing me what we're going to do is we're going to work out for the weight of us the thickness of the wood how far we need the slat to be about three inches i'm not even mad you know what <laughs> mats and or it's going think, to be all that I think wide it needs to be a bit thicker you know just because we, we're thick we, i'll smash your face <laughs> right in a minute you little goat Oh, that's okay. Greatest of all time. Goat. You get it? <laughs> yeah. Why have you got two pencils? That's just greedy. Because I'm the one that writes. You're the one that reads. <laughs> he he normally crayons. Write. Anyway, he right, shut up. crayons. Hours and hours. She's waffling on it. I just need to get on with it. She's made pretty circles and lines. Meticulous measuring. Right. We're going to cut very neatly, when I say where, we need a steady handed nail up and down where all the ticks are because we they might have done it wrong the first time round and then up and down all the way along like a wiggly snake like when you were playing snakes and ladders in school then once that's done this one piece of ply will be able to pull it out and expand it. So basically out of one piece of ply we're making two pieces of ply that will interlock like a wiggly snake. It's like two o'clock in the morning. He hasn't let me have any food. He's not let me go to sleep. It's quarter nine. 
<laughs> and of course I had a knife. But if you are going to attempt to do this with the wiggly lines. If you know someone with a CNC machine, ask them. Yeah. So much easier. Just do the slats because <laughs> although it works and we will have a little look at it now. So what we have to do is we've done the slotty things and then um, we have to go in again with the jigsaw because it was too tight and we can't get perfect lines. That's impossible. You know, it just is. Um, so the, the top slat is bolted down to the the back and then every second one is bolted to the front and then that allows you to lift this up which is perfect and then we have a running rail underneath there which is attached to every other one that comes forwards so it will pull out all the way and then it will push in all the way it's just because we didn't have a CMC machine it's a bit fiddly next port of call is we now got to tackle the front we need to put another piano hinge on the front because we need that to flip in as we lift it up what does it need to do? flip in <laughs> Meth. Just call me a meth. <laughs> you know you do something and you come out the next day and you forget the devastation that's being caused. Well, we're at that moment right now. Right, so we know what's going on there. In the furniture board that goes over this, we need to cut out a section so when we pull the whole section out it will go over this. So get that get that taken out that all fixes in fine that's no problem that can get fixed once we've got the holes in for the air vent and for the sockets right <clears throat> got the furniture board out and what I've done is I've just put it on top and I've marked where the holes need to go for these pieces that are going to go on the inside also on the end there I've marked off the piece that we need to cut off for it to extend over the actual top so i'm going to get this cut off get them holes cut out and then we can put it in and start mounting stuff out comes the jigsaw right now we've got the holes cut for this this can now get put back in place it can be screwed onto the front and the electrics can be put in there and the vents for the actual trimmer can get put in there as well and that can all get tidied away dinner break alrighty then we've got the ply in front so that's the false front there so what we've done is we just count a sunk countersunk a few holes in to keep it in place to make sure it's nice and flush and then we're going to do the same on the other side just here once the counter sinking's done you just pop your screw in like so and then it'll make it once you go along do them all make it nice and flush and none of your screws are sticking out jobs are good we brought the furniture board back in but it needs cutting down to size because we've lowered the bench seat the inside as you can see is a lot higher the bench seat used to come up to here it's now been dropped down quite a bit so we need this furniture board which is here this top piece needs to come to the underneath of there and then we're gonna piano hinge it on to there so what we're gonna do is we've got a piece of scrap of this was which is the same thickness of that we will put this on top of there like that we'll mark on the top there with the line of where we need to cut the excess furniture board off so then it will all meet up and then the furniture boards will sit nice in there and then get hinged to this part here 
the mark with the pencil right along there got that all cut we're going to attach the actual piano hinge to the inside lip basically so when it folds down this top lip stops on the underneath of the bench seat so when it folds when it folds sort of down that way the actual top of this the actual top of this will stop but i'll show you why and it'll all become apparent in a minute but we've got to get this screwed on here Emma can punch it and I'll screw it. Right, after a lot of faffing about with piano hinges because our brains are just not functioning at the moment. Don't know what it is, just a bit of a mess. Anyway, we decided not to trim the edge and what we've done is we've routed out the back of here so when this is fixed in properly they will just stick through like that and then we can just paint the edge of this black seeing the better idea than having a 15 milli gap just routed the inside just so this pushes back up until against these bits that stick through little bit of fiddling to do with them we'll get them so they just poke through just nice and that'll look all right got the table leg to fit back on but one of the mountain plates literally goes over the edge there so we need to renegotiate this but try and cover up these holes as well um maybe there just like that i might just have to grind off this corner here okay so we have got the sides back on we've bought a t-piece for the vent that goes into the toilet so rather than having two lines coming off the boiler one going to the outside vent here which is there and then one running into the toilet just got ourselves a t-piece and then that can run straight into the toilet and in there as well and we can don't forget we can close them off so if you want more heat in the toilet we close that one off same vice versa fitted the side panel fitted the side panel back on the side of the chair which has now got the mount on it for the table that's the whole chair in its upright position so you can actually get into the storage under there you can do whatever on the boiler if you need to I've got to cut a notch out here so that the actual leg on leg can sit on the side there it sits on there but obviously down there so that can sit on there and I can go through the table and obviously we've got a hole in the actual cushion where that can poke through as well so right I've just realized when I was cutting that out that I've got to cut this whole leg off because this bit slides out I'm tired We've argued, we've fought, nearly killed each other. Got the job done though. Was it worth it? Totally, because once we're out and about, it's gonna be a game changer this. Now I can leave this leg on if the cushion's there and this whole front section will just slide out to where you need it to go. Um, I can't pull it all the way out because I've got tools in there. We'll do a demonstration when it's all finished. Right, next. What are we going to do next? Okay. My brain's not working. What am I making now, you may ask? Right. The front of the bed that pulls out. It's a bit, you know, because it's on a hinge. So I had a bit of a brainwave. Because we've already got enough unhinged things in the van. So, the bit that comes down from the front of the bed that's got the furniture board on it, that's on a hinge. Now, it'll do that on a hinge, okay? So, it needs a brace. Now, right. we can't brace it permanently because it needs to fold in. 
when we lift the seat up. So, what I thought was a piece of wood. Right, so in the wood here, we've cut a hole. Yeah, it was an, it was an experiment hole, we will tidy it up. Inside that hole fits this. Now on this side, we've screwed that. Yeah, so what we do is, basically, that goes in the hole, spins around, and that slots in there. And then because that is in there, the front actual piece of furniture board can't move. That is stuck, solid. So before, when we didn't have that on, the furniture board in the front could have kicked out or it could have gone in and stuff would have snapped and... Because we ain't exactly light, are we? No, or gentle. <laughs> so that is, it's just made that a lot more stiffer. Sturdy. We now need fabric for the seat. Ow. I hate this shot. It's at this point where Emma decides, I want to redo the whole cushions in the van and make them all different. And of course, now we're not looking at fabric, we found something else. Right, we're not going with fabric. She wants to go with a duvet cover. Why not? So two cushions will be totally different than the third cushion, but that's okay. We yeah. really don't mind. No, and that's different. character. How many people do you know use duvet covers to cover cushions? Now it's time to do some sewing. The condom is made. Done. Give it a spin so we can see my sewing. Look at that, hey? Not bad that for a boy. <whistles> you impressed? I've seen it all before. That's a no. Now to show you. Operation Comfy. And voila! <sighs> we have Comfy. Ow! Pillows are nice. Get your feet off the seats. Get your feet off the seats? My feet are on the seats. <laughs> as well as this being a comfier sofa area for us while we're chilling in the evening, technically if we ch turned all of our swivel seats around, drivers and the passengers, Tuck the table leg out. You could actually use this as a bed. As it stands, or sits, I could comfortably have a little nap on here. On my own. I like it. Yeah. But it's comfortable. I'll work it. <laughs> I mean, this pillow is a bit of a. Looks a bit nom nobbly in places. <laughs> Right, what job's next? Recirculating shower. First of all, we've got to insulate the pipes under the van <laughs> and we've got to get a feed from the Truma all the way back to the boot. That'll be next week's job. Will it? Or have we got something else that we need to get done and finished? No idea what she's talking about. Is there something else sitting on the driveway that we need to get rid of? <laughs> oh, blue transit. More on that coming soon. Bye-bye.